Hey everybody, I hope and pray that you're doing well today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is signposts. Signposts. Now this first video of 2024, I know we've taken a couple weeks off. It's good to be back together with you to look into God's word today. I'm going to dive right in. Jeremiah chapter 31. I'm going to look at verses 21 and 22 today. And it's a lot of talk about um you know, Israel being able to be restored and a day that they would come back and, and things being made new. And as always, I encourage you to read the entire chapter, even though I'm just pulling out a verse or two. You really need to see the whole, you need to read the whole chapter so you can understand the context. But verses 21 to 22 says, set up signposts, make landmarks, set your heart toward the highway, the way in which you went. Turn back, O virgin of Israel, turn back to these your cities. How long will you gad about? Oh, you backsliding daughter, for the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall encompass a man. Now, briefly, I'll say that last line uh, is confusing for a lot of commentators, not knowing whether or not it's from a proverb or, or what it may mean. I'll tell you what I believe it means tied into the context here. So if you look, he's saying, use those signposts. Return to the way that you used to be the way that you used to go. It's it's almost an idea of, uh, you know, think about like Hansel and Gretel, that leaving the breadcrumbs so that you can find your way back. He's telling them and encouraging them, and Jeremiah is seeing this, this uh, revealed to him in a dream, that he he's hearing them, hearing God say, look, if you will go back the way that you came, if the people of Israel would go back and, and look at where they got off track, there have been signs all along the way. And I encourage you today, here at the beginning, uh, first video we're doing of this year, look back and if you say, well, I'm not quite where I wanted to be with God. I'm not quite where I wanted to be in my relationship with Him. Maybe you have backslidden some yourself. We all do from time to time. But we have to make sure that it's not long term. We have to make sure that we come back. Well, how do we get back? Well, look to where we got off track. Go back and look if that road you were heading on was heading to God, then where did you get off track? Where did you take that exit ramp and you need to get back on the highway? He says, use the signpost. Use a, don't worry about using that GPS, right? That's flesh. Use the GPS that's the Holy Spirit. Use the guidance of the Holy Spirit to get back on track where you need to go. Now, in our own lives, we have signposts already set up. You can look back. Now, you may not want to agree uh, with what they're telling you, but it may tell, hey, when you made that decision to do this, that's when your life got off track. Oh, when you made this decision to say this or do this or go here or, or buy this or take this, take this job, move here, do all these things. If you did it in the flesh, if you did it outside of God's will, then that may be where you got off track. Ultimately, though, in the grand in the grand scheme of things and in the overall picture, what Israel needed to get back to, it wasn't those those maybe daily decisions about what they were doing as far as with their lives, with their careers, that type thing. It was what they were doing with God. They were continuing to chase after idols. So I can tell you that if you have if you are backsliding, it is because you're chasing after idols instead of chasing after God. So how do you get back to God? You turn away from those idols and turn back to him. Get off of those back roads and get back on to the highway. Now, the fact that he says that there's something new and that a woman would uh, a woman would basically cling to the man. Well, if you think about in the context, oftentimes in prophecy of this woman being Israel and the man very likely uh, being Christ himself, because a lot of this is looking ahead, not just to when Christ would come, the first time when he came to earth, but when he comes again, when Israel would be completely restored, he says, then you, the woman, Israel, will cling to her savior, the man, the man, Jesus, the God man. And today, if you don't want to be backsliding, you need to cling to the God man. You need to cling to Jesus. You need to cling to his word. If you want to know how to get back there, it's very simple. Look at the signs all around. 
Look at the signposts that God has put up in your life, those spiritual markers. Look back at those times where you thanked God and you praised him for what he was doing in your life. And then look at those times where you turned against God, where you didn't listen, you didn't heed his advice, you didn't heed his spirit. And when you got off track, go back to those times. You can't go back and change what decisions you've already made. But in those decisions that you can change now and it's time to get back right with him, don't put it off for another day because that day will turn into weeks and months and even another year. You find yourself listening to a video like this at the beginning of 2025 saying, did I ever go back? Did I ever change? Did I ever do that which I set out to do? Well, my encouragement for you is this. Look at all that God has done. There's not an idol. There's not another uh, created thing in all of creation that can even compare to the glory of God. So don't chase after them. Look to the signs. Not the signs of the stars, not the signs of the heavens like some astrologer. Look to the signs that God's word gives us. Be obedient to it. Believe it by faith and trust in God. That's the way you get back on the road to a right relationship with him. Will you be willing to make that turn today? God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.